Yo, good morning everyone. Charlie Chicken in. Bark, bark. <laughs> right there to every single one of you guys. Happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining us all, man. Love every single one of y'all. Hopefully y'all having a blessed day. Um, so far, so hectic here at work. Uh, it's kind of like Murphy's Law right now. You know, what? whatever can go wrong will go wrong. <laughs> but uh, kind of like yesterday too. But you know, I've been, I've been staying cool, calm, and collect, guys. I was staying positive. Been been smiling, and uh, things have worked themselves out, you know. So really, no need to get myself worked up in a fit over, you know, what will work itself out over nothing, really, you know. And uh, also, you know, I've had a, I've had a good song in my heart today, guys. Now, I was sitting here, you know, like I like I said, I've expressed before, 2018 seems to be the year of uh, of rock music. It seems like rock music is coming back, man. You know, uh, Tool, Perfect Star Circle, Stone Sour. Muse, uh, uh, who else? Uh, so many bands uh, uh, are coming out with new albums. Uh, Alice in Chains, you know, that um, just really take it, takes me back. And I was thinking the other day on the way home, I was almost home and I was listening to a, I was listening to Weezer. And I was like, you know what? If Weezer would come out with a new album this year, man, it would almost be like the tri or not trifecta, but it would almost kind of wrap it all up, you know, because Weezer was a big part of a. Uh, uh, the early 90s uh, rock scene as well maybe a little underappreciated in certain instances but uh but yeah maybe not so much the blue album everybody had the blue album and uh, on the way to work this morning i heard weezer guys they've got a new song got a new album coming out um they have redid africa by toto not sure if many of y'all have heard this song they did not um uh outdo you know africa by Toto themselves, you know, but it is still amazing, you know, I kind of fanboyed out just because it's Weezer, you know, they're back, and uh, I can't wait to, to hear some more form from them, so uh, got some more music memories that I'm going to share with you guys in a little bit uh, at lunchtime, and because uh, I think it kind of, kind of um, ran on a little bit here, it's about time for me to eat my Nutty Buddy, I mean Nutty Buddy right here, I had a banana for breakfast, thank you baby. Gonna eat my nutty buddy, get back to work, and we'll talk some more music memories when I get back. Good morning, guys. Erica checking in on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday's okay for me because I'm off on Wednesday and Handmaids comes on on Wednesday. So, Tuesdays aren't that bad. And I'm not doing nothing. I'm bored. Playing on the tweeteries, cleaning up a little bit. Um, learning about bears. I know what to do. Bears really aren't that mean. They say that they have the temperament kind of like a dog. Um, you just don't want to scare them, like surprise them or anything. But if you do, then you just got to be like, good bear. I'm not going to hurt you. I don't want your babies. I'm leaving you alone. And you just kind of walk away. You don't make eye contact. You definitely don't run. And if he comes after you, you fight back and you punch him in the nose. So I have learned. But bear spray <laughs> i gotta get that bear spray um i wanted to say miss emily i hope you get better miss emily don't ever ever feel sorry for things that you can't control i saw your sister say that and that absolutely took the words out of my mouth and we love you girl you know that so just get better focus on getting better and we're here for you and um i don't know all right guys lunch time Woo! this day is just blazing by thank you lord nutty bar is fixing to melt up on me that'd be all right finger looking good speaking of finger looking good let's show you what we got for lunch calabash oh my goodness calabash chicken they look like sweet awesome little puppy dog tails mm. Mm. never had calabash before I always heard it, but I never knew what it was, so. Anyways, guys, hanging out, eating lunch, feeling great, man. Thinking about my baby. Can't wait to come see you. Let me swallow this. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. First things first, just got recognized at work again, guys. Yeah, uh, by a fella by the name, same name as me, Charles, and, um, Matter of fact, he's up there eating lunch right now. I told him that I normally got to come here to the car, eat my lunch, do a video clip with you guys, 
and then I might go back up there and hang out with him a little bit before we got to go back to work. So, um, really nice guy, really supportive of the whole family, you know, even, uh, you know, dad's friends outside the family. Um, and, uh, you know, you know, yeah, he's just supportive of the family, wants to see us all, you know, just get along and do, and, uh, have fun again, you know, and, uh, just, you know, told me how, you know, just like a lot of you, you know, felt like dad was almost like a father to him. Whenever he was down and out, he can put it on the videos. He can put it on Grandpa. He said he, said he would watch Angry Grandpa videos on Angry Grandpa channel for, um, um, like the blowouts and Dad's freakouts. But he would watch Grandpa's Corner uh, for the wisdom, you know, because Dad had a lot of wisdom to share as well as anger. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so Charles, thank you so much for, you know, approaching me and uh, just being so cool and calm and, and, and awesome. And, uh, we're gonna exchange numbers and we're gonna we're gonna get together and we're gonna hang out man that's what it's about i love getting together with y'all you guys and uh charles we're gonna hang out soon hopefully y'all might y'all might meet charles soon he does editing and stuff like that so he might be able to help erica out with the editing a little bit we'll see not that you're doing a bad job baby you do a great job <laughs> anyway so i wanted to get that out there noticed again at work <laughs> And it's been good. My other friends that noticed me before, they're not working here no more. I guess apparently they've moved on to greener pastures or what have you. And uh, I realized that I hadn't been talking to them in like a month, you know. So, but anyways, noticed again at work. And uh, it's always awesome. I mean, if you guys see me, approach me and say hello, man. If you if you don't like me, stay away, blow. But if you but if you want to say hello, come come approach me and say hello. So, another thing, real quick, I wanted to get with you guys and just say, you know, rest in peace, Vinnie Paul wanted to talk about you know music again with you guys and stuff and Vinny Paul rest in peace Vader my dude big Van Vader it's time love you bro miss you man uh, and Vinny Paul yeah you know Pantera guys he was a drummer for Pantera uh, brother of um, Dimebag Daryl and uh, and he was awesome guys I love Pantera I don't know how many of you guys are into Pantera but I'm gonna share with you a story the first time that I ever heard of Pantera and it was, um, I, got, I was 13 years old. I don't know if you guys remember. The first album that I ever heard from Pantera was The Great Southern Trend Kill. Had a picture of a rattlesnake on the front. And uh, I got it from Columbia House Records. Now, I don't know if many of you guys remember Columbia House Records. <laughs> but uh, many people got free CDs. Free CDs from Columbia House Records uh, for uh, many, many years. And uh, this was actually my first time trying it. I was looking at a magazine and I seen something in this magazine, you know, 13 CDs for one cent. I'm like, well, what the heck? No way. So I went ahead and I looked through it and I saw all kinds of uh, Pantera. It was a very uh, uh, mixed blend here, guys. I had gotten like Pantera, Corn, uh, Life is Peachy. I'd gotten Tupac, All Eyes on Me, which counted as two, two selections because it, it was a two album. A bunch of them, you know, like 12 CDs. And, uh, and uh, put, I filled it out and sent it off and forgot about it. We had just got a trampoline, just got a trampoline on ga and gas and on metal field and we put it in the middle of the yard. And uh, I just happened, to, I just got myself a CD player. I traded a friend uh, an old skateboard I had for his CD player. Be best deal I ever did. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I had another board. I took the trucks off of it and I'm sitting there doing like snowboard tricks on the trampoline and the mailman comes. So I go out to the mail and I check the mail and BAM my damn records or my, my CDs had showed up. I'm like, oh my goodness, man. Damn, I didn't ever think that it was gonna happen. I didn't think it was for real. Boom, there it is. There they got us, they sent us uh, all my CDs. And one of the first CDs that I opened up and played was Pantera, Great Southern Trend Kill. And I'll never forget it, man. Sitting there on the trampoline uh, on, with my board without the trucks on it, doing snowboard tricks, you know, all of us out there just screaming Pantera, oh, the, the great. So that drink out. <laughs> so much fun, guys. So that was the first time that I had ever heard Pantera. And uh, and they stuck with me, you know, super hardcore. Uh, I love my rock music. I love I love all types of music, but rock music uh, has a special place in my heart. And just wanted to say rest in peace, Vinny. And uh, uh, hopefully you're up there with your brother rocking out. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Finish eating my chicken and i'm gonna go up here and talk to my new friend charles like i said man if you guys see me out anywhere man don't 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 be afraid to approach me come say hello i try to be as approachable down to earth as nice as i can so that's it
box, Lil. What are you doing in the box? Oh. Oh yeah, another one in the books. Happy to be alive, happy to make new friends, happy for all of you. Just freaking happy and hopeful and thankful. Erica, I'm on the way home. Love you. Oh my god. I just killed this spider. It was like a big red one. He's on his belly. That's what his belly looks like. And he's still... Oh. That's Joe Rogan. Actually, that's Bill Burr. That's a spider. Ew. Oh, I guess it's dead. It died. This guy's still twitching. He's definitely dead. He smashed. Guys, I gotta say, don't mind the AC spitting water. I gotta take care of that. I got to say, guys, home is where the ice cream is. Baby bought some more break up brownie and she got her street strawberry cheesecake. Baby got her strawberry cheesecake. I ain't gonna show you guys. She's getting ready. Oh, she's where's she at? No. What else is in there? Oh, so now let's go see what else is in the fridge. Uh, for, or freezer. Um, ice trays. Some uh, hamburger meat Tiny hooked us up with. That's it. Oh, what? Oh, baby, baby, like the noodles? Yes. You know, it, I just burped so big right now. I just got so excited, though. I heard the music and I got so excited. <laughs> you know, in China, slurping and burping is considered uh, gratitude, like Simon. Yeah. You know? yeah gratitude. If you don't, you're rude. Because you didn't like it, right? Yes, this house is now China. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like what was that Carl Pilkington is like <laughs> watching the guy eat in China and he's like how does he put the whole thing in his mouth like the whole <laughs> like the whole bowl of noodles the guy yeah whole bowl of noodles right in his mouth so I'm gonna win this one you're gonna place. win I got second you gotta at least you gotta beat second <laughs> I got second too so we're tied no because I got second more times than you I. So I <laughs> Uh huh. You're good. Just don't stay in it. Ah! Dang uh, it! Woo! Fourth so place. Like, it makes my nerves bad. Oh, it makes me feel like my eyes are bleeding. I wasn't playing that a good minute. Yeah. Oh, yes. Love this rain. So, anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and leave it here. Erica's back there getting ready. She's running late, so I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, drop this uh outro for you guys and so she can get it all uploaded and off to work you know uh just want to say thank you all let's pause this real quick because i'm getting sidetracked i love the office and i'm just I'm listening to it <laughs> so anyways guys just want to thank you all want to say thank you to charles uh guy at work you know damn uh reaching out to me and just showing love and support um you know he likes to say true youngin um just wants to see everybody get along and, and just you know he's just just has so many memories and uh, with dad that he just wants to share and talk about. He's so excited and uh, and it was cool, man. Like I say, any anybody out there, man, if you see me, man, come say hello. You know, I try to be approachable and uh, and I'm just down to earth. I'm just a regular guy. He's like he says he's he's never met anyone famous before, yada yada. But I don't consider myself famous, you know, dad. Yeah, you know, dad was famous and he just brought all this to us. He brought all you guys to us, you know, uh, young and supporters changed our lives forever. You know, I want to thank every single one of you guys. You mean so much to us. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you all for watching. Holla tomorrow. Peace.